What's up guys, it is finally fall in Chagrin Falls, Ohio. The leaves are changing, the weather is getting a little bit cooler. Everybody here loves this time of season because of all the color, getting outside. And so I wanna share with you five of the best and most popular parks in the Chagrin Falls area. So let's get going here, I cannot wait to show you these. So first stop is Froaring Meadow. This is one of my personal favorites. I jog here two or three times a week. I love this little park. One of the reasons people love coming here is because it's so close to downtown. It's only like two and a half miles from the actual village of Chagrin Falls. So it's really convenient and easy access. Now this is a smaller park, but there are about two and a half to three miles of trails. The woods are great. There's a lot of wildlife. Sometimes we see deer and even owls in here. And I love the meadow because in the spring there are wildflowers that come up. It's just a really pretty place. A lot of people take photos and senior pictures here. So the outside loop is about two and a half miles unpaved. And then there is a 0.7 mile loop here that is paved for handicap accessibility or strollers or rollerblading. Now another great thing I love about this is this cool pavilion that they have. They have a couple restrooms. You can reserve this. It's usually booked two or three months in advance, but I've seen parties there or picnics or even a wedding reception or two. Next up is Bear Town, and this is pretty similar to Froaring Meadows, but you guys are going to love it, so let's go. Bear Town is another one of my favorite parks. It's a little bit smaller. It's fairly similar to Froaring, except obviously it has the lakes. What I like about this park are the trails and the diversity. We have the lake trails. Uh, there's a 0.7 mile loop that's paved around there. So it's uh, handicap accessible, or if you have rollerblades or strollers. And then on the outside where we are now is this really nice woods trail. There's still some leaves on the trees and a lot of color back here. This is gravel and it's fairly smooth. There aren't a lot of ups and downs or tree roots on the path. The park system does a great job of keeping up with this. So it's really well maintained. Now, besides the great variety of trails, there's a really cool picnic area, tons of tables, it's covered. They even have grills here, uh, plenty of restrooms and parking space. And there's also uh, this little sled riding hill on the back of the park. Now, most people come here just to walk the dogs, but it's a great all year, all weather park. You could even cross country ski on these trails. People even fish in the lake. I think there's bass or pike. But anyway, I cannot wait to show you guys the next park. So we're headed over to Whitesburg, just outside of downtown Chagrin Falls. And this is really the hidden gem in the area because surprisingly, it's not that well known. One of the things that people love about this is that uh, not a lot of people know about it. So it's very quiet. It's very peaceful. You're walking in the woods. It feels like you're in just a giant forest. Now, the first two parks we saw, they're very groomed. There's gravel trails. There's concrete and paved areas. Uh, but this is more rugged. As you can see, there's a lot of, you know, just leaf slaying of the trails. There's rocks, there's tree roots. Uh, it's just really natural. You can walk in the leaves and hear the leaves crunching under your feet in the fall. And there are actually a lot of trails in here. This is a fairly small park, like the first two, but uh, there's just trails that wind in and out. So you can really kind of explore and just wander around this park. Now, a lot of people come here to walk their dogs and 99% of people uh, let them off the leash. They run around in the woods. Everybody is usually okay with it. Technically, I think you have to have your dog on a leash. So always bring a leash and monitor that. But it's very private, it's very secluded. And that's one of the reasons I love this park. Now, next, we're gonna check out some of the biggest parks in the area. Now that we've covered some of the smaller parks, we're gonna check out the Westwoods, which is right off of 87 and 306. And this is one of, if not the largest park within the Chagrin Valley area. So there are almost 10 different trails here, totaling over seven miles with uh, access from three different streets. Now there are a lot of bridle trails in here, there's about five miles. A lot of people around here have horses and there are quite a few stables in the area. So if you like to ride, this is a great place to come. It's not overly crowded. Now, most of the trails are through the woods. Obviously, it's called the West Woods. Uh, they're a little bit more rugged. There are tree roots and rocks throughout the trails, but it's not too bad. Uh, the great thing about this is the really nice variety. There are some hills up here to my left. There's a creek down over on my right. You just really get a great feel of being in the forest. In the back of the park where we are right now, there's also some really cool ledges and, and Ansel's Cave, which is not really, I guess you could call it a cave. It's kind of open on the top, but it's just a really cool place to see. It's definitely worth coming here for. So besides all the awesome trails, there are actually three facilities in this park. There's uh, Deer Run, Turkey Ridge, and a Felder House. Now all of these facilities are available to rent out and they also have some great programs through the parks as well to engage with the community. Uh, coming up is Holly Days in the fall and that's a bunch of local artisans coming and setting up booths and vendors uh, and that's a really cool place to go it's becoming a lot more popular so next up is my personal favorites the second largest park in the area and that is south chagrin cannot wait to show you guys all the awesome places over there so let's go take a look 
So we're in the last park of this video. This is probably one of my favorites, maybe even in all of Northeast Ohio, and I know it's very popular in the Chagrin Valley area as well. This is South Chagrin Reservation. Now the reason people love South Chagrin is because there's so much to do and see here. There is a ton of variety between the rivers and the waterfalls, the hiking trails, the biking on the paved paths throughout the park. Now, if you love horses, this is one of the best places to come to in the area. There are over 15 miles of bridle trails throughout this park, as well as going north, connecting up to the polo field in Chagrin Falls. Now, there are way too many hiking trails here to cover in one video, uh, but some of my favorites are the Sulphur Springs Trail, where we are right now. It has this nice little creek over onto the side of us. It's just really peaceful and quiet. There aren't a lot of people that come here. Uh, also, the Henry Church Rock and Cory Rock are very popular trails as well. Those have some great views and great photo opportunities. Another small one is a shelter house loop. It's got a really cool little bridge and a nice path. Now for facilities, there are a couple here that you can rent out. Uh, there's the shelter house. It's a really great picnic area. It has a nice stone fireplace in there, as well as Lookabout Lodge, which was built around 1938, uh, but you can rent that out and reserve it. It's just a really nice addition to this park. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. Those are the five best and most popular parks in and around the Chagrin Falls area. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'm gonna have some more coming out like this, just getting out and about and checking out the cool things to do in the Chagrin Valley area.